welcome to a very special edition of Jumping the Turnstile with Tim and Jez. I'm Jez. And I'm Tim. <laughs> what the fuck has just happened? <laughs> yeah, it's something different that we've Mary, been promising to do for Ma- so Merry years. Xbox. Oh, uh, Merry, Cr- Merry Christmas to there, Timmy Taco <laughs> and all your listeners. Uh, mm. This is a very special uh, episode. Like I said, we're doing a watch along. We don't know if it's going to work. Never done it before. Mm, you were confused about well, how we even set it all up. Well, but I've got there. I've got there. That's no, that's good. you know that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, we're in every, the studio. Uh, every year we up. watch. Every year we watch a particular film. Every year without without doubt. Oh, without a, few, a doubt. A few years skipping here. And you reckon? Ah, oh, yeah. I got uh, one in last year. Yeah, definitely. right, right. It's the. Um, it's the John Cusack vehicle. <laughs> Better off dead. Better off dead. The uh, probably the, uh, uh, the pinnacle. What do you call it? Seminal. Seminal. Tint. Just go low. Low ball. Okay. Low, low, low ball. Low ball. Your language. Low it's ball. a Christmas movie that we watch every <laughs> year. <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah. So well, this this is the plan, right? So we we mentioned it last week on the episode. Um, you press play. At a particular point, let you me watch, stop you it's right a watch there. along. Right? First, you've got to find Better Off Dead. On the, oh, the, yeah, okay. I think there is the YouTube version of it. There might be, actually. There might be. So, or just, I don't know, steal it off the internet. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How, how else do you get shot? Well, that's how I got Pay it. Pay so. for it. I don't know. I don't know. Get it somehow. Yeah. All right, so how do we do this, you okay, blinking so, boy, <laughs> So what we do is... What's your fucking plan? All right, the plan is... Uh, you've got the, you've got it on your TV right now. You you watch the opening animation. That's fine. We're not going to go through all that nonsense. Okay. You watch it at home. Yeah. Uh, and then it, it cuts to the uh, title. The title. And then we're going to line you up. And then what? <laughs> <laughs> what when do you, you take it from here? Well, I'll take I'll take it from here. When you see the title, mm. fucking press play. All right. Ready, <laughs> set, play. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the better off dead fading away. Okay, window, Wine, window, window opens. opens. John, John Cusack. Cusack. <laughs> so, so because I don't listen to any of these um, watch alongs, right? Mm. So, what do we have to hit every thing like it's um, uh, a no. movie for the blind? No, 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 no. As long as you you're, you're in the sort of wheelhouse of like, okay, the camera's coming. Amanda we- uh, Weiss, 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 a saxophone. Curtis Armstrong. Okay, so we're we're in. We're in. We're seeing pictures of uh, what can only be an obsession yes. with a particular girl. It's your blonde, it's your classic wonder wall that we used to. Is have that what is that what it's what it is? Yeah, is that your, what a wonder wall is? It is. We used yeah, to have right. them now. It was usually um, Winona Ryder. Oh yeah, you had uh, um, Al McPherson. Yeah, you did. You did Samantha Fox. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you had them posted up everywhere. She can ring my bell. So uh, we're cutting across to the bed where we see our main character, Lane Myers, is about to wake up. And if you're in sync with us, the alarm clock should be going off now. right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> 8 o'clock. Get up. Yeah, but... Um, so what, what's with this movie? Like we Well, we had it, it on VH. We had it on VHS. Yeah. So I'm not sure if it had ads in it. I don't know if you can remember if it had ads. No, it was a clean run. Definitely. Was it? Yeah, you used to hire it from the the video shop, you know. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, right. From uh, DJ's video. DJ's video hire. Um, But we drill it. I always love this where the the odd sock. I actually took took that on my personality. Oh, did you? Yeah, when I used to go to basketball camp. Yeah, okay. um, I'd have odd socks and then I'd I'd try to be wacky. Okay. I'd, I'd put them in the fridge. Well, he's jumping in the shower with the socks, yeah, so he yeah, doesn't ever take them off. It's, it's his lucky socks, maybe. These kids, they all have a thing, don't they? Especially in the eighties, everyone's got a, everyone's got a grab, a personality <laughs> trait. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, the suspensions there. building with the uh, the father, who's uh, Mash. He's Mash great. What was his name oh, in Mash? He was a Mash great. Um, yeah. Good question. Can't remember his name. No, nah, no. Nah, um, uh, Charles. Can, Charles Dubois. Dubois. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Okay. Spoky dokies. He's having the um, restless sleep as the paper boy approaches on the BMX. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's great. Yeah. Do we have we looked at a where are they now? Who are they now? Oh, we do have that list somewhere. Do we? Oh, it's called the internet, but Okay. 
maybe look up where the um, two dollar kid from Better Off Dead has ended up. Yeah, it's always a shock when you see it. So panning across, each window in his garage has been smashed. The classic uh, American garage with the uh, strip of windows across the front. Is that the Ferris Bueller house? It looks like it. This has got Ferris Bueller vibes, right? I think it's uh, the same dude, isn't it? Yeah, but the same universe. Yes. It'd have to be, wouldn't it? I love this kid. He shares the universe with this, Peter Herman's uh, big adventure. Yeah. Come <laughs> the on. video from UHF. It's all the same universe. Paper's going to hit the glass. Will it hit? <laughs> and unmeshed. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. It's always the neighbors are all like weird, right? Oh, and the door comes the down automatically and smashes anyway. The old clencher. But it, it goes with the um, a joke every. Oh, it's every. Within every, every three minutes, it's, it's you got to set up and a laugh and a payoff. And this is the uh, at the breakfast table with the kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is little brother, who's a genius. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Great movie. <laughs> <laughs> do we uh do we let the listener hear those parts? Cuz yeah, I know it's I know it is a watch along, right? But for somebody that doesn't download the movie, we'll give them a little bit of You a- could almost treat this as a discussion that's solely focused on a film with sound effects like how do you how do how do the um how do the professionals is it fair use uh public domain i guess Mm, well we're not making any money from it so i mean Mm. if you want to use like 15 second grabs at a time okay now look at that walk-in cupboard he's got uh every coat hanger's got a picture of his uh his girlfriend Beth. Beth. <laughs> the cupboard was awesome, though. Yeah. See, like, you know, these American houses, they've all got basements. I was always Ax. quite jealous of the old... Uh, Definitely. Extra space. Always a if, massive garage. Imagine if we had a, a basement to build our cubbies in Man. growing up. Or just a massive Lego set. Uh, the cereal. Now, all these cereals, it's like... Almost outrageous why he's got so many. But like in the back of the cereal thing, the sea creatures. Yeah. Remember the old sea monkeys? Sea monkeys. I used to watch this scene and go, oh, but what about the plastic bag in, in the inside? Yeah. Was there a point where you could... Just I the think cardboard, it wasn't, cardboard and cereal. I've got a strange feeling. It was like that at one point. There wasn't an inner layer. Because people used to rip them open and get the prize out of them, you see. Yeah, they stopped doing that. Very early, didn't they? Well, it probably ended up being like 80% of their product was getting ripped Stop open. Stop damage. <laughs> <laughs> so Lane's going up to the uh, ski fields, yeah? Yeah, it's, gonna, it's the start of the ski season, I think. Yeah, the dad's uh, pointing out the vehicle. That I absolutely... That's still one of my favourite cars. That I, my, this, my dream ca- car, the, the Camaro. Camaro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so Because it was... I, and I quote, choice. <laughs> His choice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, that, uh, the wagon's pretty cool as well. The brown wagon. And we get a first glimpse that? at the um, at the exchange student neighbour. Which I always dreamed about. Jeez, when is, <laughs> when's someone going to rock up in the street that's just, you know... That's just the... Uh, more uh, European... With yeah, their, with their <laughs> French, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then we're going to meet the uh, exchange students' family. Ricky. And so Ricky, let's Shut see what his up. name was. Is <laughs> oh yeah, uh, David Schneider. Mommy. David Schneider. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Dan Schneider. Ricky. Dan Schneider. Ricky, this is Monique. The French-born exchange student who'll be staying with us. Ricky. Ricky. Now, now, what Ricky's wearing? I see the kids like Audrey's friends are wearing very similar clo- similar clothes. Stripes with uh, 
with plaid. Yeah, plaid with overalls. More colours, yeah. Overalls with scarves. Oh, like, God. really, like... Bright. 80s done bad. Yeah, well, that's probably good. So, is that what we looked like in the 70s? Well, we uh, in the 90s, dressing quite 70s, like it was almost comical. Yeah. Like, what are you kids... What are you kids What's doing? the hair? What are you doing over there? Oh, we're going to go classic car chase. Every every movie's got a good car chase. Yeah, I love these little sidebars. Uh, You've got your $2 guy. You've got your classic uh, speakers on top of the car, a la... Um, Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers. <laughs> it's a classic move. Now, Cusack doesn't like this movie, does he? Hates it. Yes. Why? Why? Because he wants to be a serious actor. And but you've got to start somewhere. This is this let me watch any of his other films. Otherwise, I never would have given the guy a look in. Nah. To be honest, yeah, it's um, it's a shame because I don't know. Something must have happened on set that he's mm. not really happy about. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these these photos she's putting in the um, in the photo frame here are their actual uh, headshots. Headshots. <laughs> 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 proper headshots so she's going to uh, break up with Lane she's just chucked his photo in the bin oh no had the one photo she has of him <laughs> oh yeah so you got um, what's this guy's name the head of the captain of the uh, ski team Um, I don't know but it will, will reveal itself throughout the uh, film I'm sure <laughs> he's he's a classic uh, 80s asshole. yeah <laughs> Pratt He's a he's a ski wanker. <laughs> yeah. I can't find it in here. So how are we going in the watch long? Is this is this what you do? Is this is this? I don't it? know. Are I've, we I've in? Never watched along. <laughs> 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 or is this one of those like? Can you guys shut up so I can just watch the film? <laughs> is it always like that? I know it's like that on my couch. See so skiing, right? Never did it. Oh, I did it a couple times, and it's um. It's expensive it's and, and painful. Okay. And dangerous. That's three things I don't like. Yeah. It's like uh, riding a motorbike. It's not so much you can't ride the bike. It's all the you other people. You can't afford to. <laughs> <laughs> can't afford it. But it's all the other people on the ski field coming there for the first day and taking mm. you out. And cut, yeah, yeah, yeah. Across yeah. Well, it's the same thing as like when you're playing a game online and you get on there, like play GoldenEye or something, you get slaughtered. Every time. Because it's the online gamers. Mm. They're bullies. Yeah. And they've got super quick computers. Yeah. Which will be judged solely, solely by me. me and my vast expertise of skin techniques. Skin techniques. <laughs> so, so good. You sorry looking lot of hopefuls make your way up the hill. Did you all kids watch this? Have you sat there and watched it? Uh, better off then? A while ago. A while ago. Did, but did it get a response at all? Not as much of a response as um, the video from UHF. Right. They love that. Bill and Ted's, I love that. So that's uh, it pays forward. It does. That does. This is just one of those uh, ones that we drilled for mm. some reason. <laughs> I always used to love when, uh, what's the guy in the hat's name? Charles Dubois. Charles Dubois, <laughs> uh, like seeing him after Revenge of the Nerds, going, that's the guy from Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. That's Booger, isn't it? That's Booger. The yeah. desire yeah. to be a part of the well-oiled machinery that is it's the Greendale, Greendale High School, School ski racing team. <laughs> the desire for victory. <laughs> well, I... Right on, now get up there and let's see what you've got. <laughs> I just love those little setups. Mm. Pushing over the, all the skiers. It does look very cold. It's definitely snowing. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is the next victim's name? Uh, Meyer. Lane Meyer. Meyer? Is that as an Oscar Meyer? That's Roger, Roger did. did. Beth, you were standing with Oscar. Is he your, uh, your main, main wiener, wiener man? man? Don't listen to Stalin, kid! He's, He's a, a punk! punk. Now you show him, Rock! You, you show him how a skier really, really skis. skis! Okay, we're sending him down. That's a Roger, counting down. Try! Try! Try. Try. Go! And we're off seeing Wayne. Yeah, he's making he's making really good time. And uh, he's he's killing it going down the hill. Who were the uh, stunt doubles? <laughs> they, 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 There's no yeah, way that's John Cusack. No way. No. Nah. That's a pretty good double, though. Yeah. Cusack's a bit of a badass. He could probably ski. All right. Is he in? And he didn't... He's pressed the stopwatch, mate. Come on. Real close. It's a good time. A minute downhill. Yeah. A minute 76. We've been seeing an awful lot of each other. 
each other lately, and I really think it's in my best interest if I went out with someone more popular. Better looking, drives a nicer car. Uh, okay, so he's just been dumped by... Okay, straight away, he's already been dumped. So this is... Uh, what? How many minutes are we in to the movie? 15 mins? And it's already got the, the setup. It's all we're in. Oh, now he's confronting his uh, enemy again. The last time he did this, he backed into a... Uh, to the hamburger guy. To the hamburger guy. <laughs> so the car with the speakers on the top is back. It's time for another car chase. Yeah. I can't remember where, who the um, American sports commentator was that they're imitating. Yeah. Do you know that guy's name? No. no okay. We're not very ah, good. Ah, there you go. He's uh, he's driven straight into the back of the hamburger guy's ass. Pig burgers. <laughs> I'm gonna break your goddamn neck. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I always uh, pictured uh, this this woman as um, Vanessa's mum. <laughs> yeah. Janice. <laughs> She's very much like this. When we're growing up, so you won't see a scene like this anymore in the. Uh, in no, they leave. Where... They leave teenage suicide out. <laughs> <laughs> they only suggest it. And uh, that rope's <laughs> not going to work, mate. So he's having a change of change of mind here. He does. He's decided he's not going to hang himself. <laughs> he's standing perched beh- on top of the stairs behind a door, and the mother's outside vacuuming. And as he's had second thoughts, his mother's holding the door open and Boom. hanging the sun. <laughs> Set up, pay off, everyone's winner. <laughs> Looked like the door was just about to fall off the hinge end. Yeah. Never the answer, little trooper. Greendale is a bodaciously small town, Lane. It's a fly speck on the map. A rest stop on the way Whatever to happened to Booger? I can't even get real drunk. He's, uh, he voices for Family Guy. and Ah, uh, that's the guy, yeah. Yeah, and he does, um... American Dad as well. Right. Yeah, he's all over it. See, voiceovers, that's the way to go. Well, it's all in the voice. The whole character. He's skiing on one ski. Because he, this guy's voice is... Unique. Uh, unique like um, Bobcat. And Pee Wee Herman. It's <laughs> 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 all that. There was a lot of that going on in the yeah. 80s. Yeah, you had to have a, a voice, didn't you? Mm. Distinct. So Janice is uh, serving her next meal. <laughs> the last one was uh, blue bacon. <laughs> <laughs> With raisins. <laughs> With raisins. Oh, no, this like is raisins. raisins, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is raisins. There is still one more thing I would like to discuss. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like that slime you used to get in the Subject 80s. Yes. <laughs> <is. laughs> is a mystery bar. Oh, it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Which even as we look at the raisins, I love that. Bit. <laughs> under a moldy tarp. You do know that. Oh, <laughs> under a moldy tarp. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never noticed that. Day. <laughs> it's a mystery. Tarp, as yeah, a moldy yeah. tarp. It's the father explaining about the car. Shall yeah. we turn this bit up? Mainly because yeah, it, your girlfriend Beth of... said it was. I believe the term was choice. Tasty. Oh, tasty. Since then, that tasty car has slept in an auto cocoon on my front lawn. Yeah, I think it's we'll a good way to do it, like having a few samples in between. I don't think other people do that. Maybe there's a reason. But um, We're going to find out, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, when there's seven people that listen to it they're all the way through. You think... Uh, the old... Uh, you think Disney's coming after us for... Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> nah, they're in a whole bunch of shit. They don't have enough time to come after us. The uh, the dinner's crawling off the uh, the plate. <laughs> this is what I always liked about 80s movies. They weren't afraid to, to put a bit of stop mo in there. Yeah, a little bit of animation. Effects. Yeah. Mm. Just stupid it stuff. It a long way. It does, man. Side gag. Something it is. <laughs> and especially when everybody's doing like um, they've got Muppets involved and they've got yeah. Labyrinth and everything's uh, 80s and it's got to be you know could have some moving parts <coughs> so he's talking to Badger his uh, younger brother his genius, genius brother <laughs> who's like Stewie from um, from Family uh, Guy Family Guy super intelligent yeah, yeah. evil genius 
he's not he's clearly not wasting his time being alone in his room mm. working on laser guns oh Beth <laughs> it's time for a flashback she didn't do anything else did she I'm or pretty sure alright oh yeah 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 Amanda Weiss Amanda Weiss Has the shorts. That's a classic <laughs> 80s look, man. High mm. shorts, checkerboard, different colours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's drinking a tab. <laughs> yeah, she's too. It was a tab and a Diet Coke there. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored. Of the old classic pan out and uh, Lane standing in the um, people's picnic. So he was wearing odd socks again. Oh, he was, was he? Yeah, the blue stripes are different. Okay. There's always an odd sock reference for some reason. Mm. Maybe that's something. Adequate. Adequate. <laughs> this is a classic. Yeah, this, yeah. this is a peep show classic. Yeah, that got into my head. I was always worried about shit hanging off my nose after this scene. Maybe I got some dirt on my nose while I hit you. God, he's too embarrassed to tell me. I must look sickening. There she goes again. What could it be? Dirt? Relish? Relish on my nose? How gross. Did you relish? Please, please don't let it be a I might have to put the kettle on. What do you reckon? God. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Flashback, is it? Oh, no, he's just... Oh, he's woken up with a um, post-it note stuck on his head. From, from Mother. From Mother. She didn't want to just say, feed the dog, I think it said. <laughs> 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 he's just devastated. Back, back to the cereal gag, with the cereal going everywhere, because um, <laughs> uh, the, the brother has cut all the coupons out. <laughs> Oh, it's a cat. I always thought it was a dog. Ah, uh, this is, um, what do they call it? Oh, the, uh, Mandela, the effect. Mandela effect. And he's made, poured the cat food in a bowl and he's about to eat it like a bowl of cereal. Has a milk Just font. as he's about the, to. Uh, the <laughs> milk font. The milk box font. Sadies. <laughs> milk. Oh, the doorbell's ringing. Johnny. Johnny. Four weeks, 20 papers, that's two dollars, plus tips. Gee, Johnny, I don't have a dime, sorry. Didn't ask for a dime. Two dollars. Well, yeah, it's funny, see, my mom had to finish work early to take my brother to school and my dad to work, so. Two dollars. Cash. See, the problem here is, like, my little brother this morning got his arm caught in a microwave and... My grandmother uh, dropped acid and freaked out and hijacked a school bus full of penguins. So it's kind of a family crisis. So come back later, great. There's a, there's that say uh, that particular car is that a, it's the same as a Kingswood, right? It looks like a Kingswood, yeah. It does. Yeah. Kingswood Country. Yeah. Classic brown. Big long bastard. Look at the size of the bloody dashboard. Yeah. Mahogany <laughs> veneer. <laughs> it's huge. This is always a classic gag, it's a classic sample gag, where he's going through the stations and they all relate to breaking up. Yeah, heartbroken. So he throw, <laughs> throws his radio away. It's the uh, the start of something new, Tim. Fresh. Yeah. Yes. Now this is the this is the flip of um, Ferris Bueller. This is the contrast um, sharing universe, yeah. right? Where um, in in um, Ferris Bueller, everyone's jolly for Ferris. But in this, they're jolly for the teacher. Yeah. You know what I mean? And <laughs> So they love, they're all engaged. And I reckon I related to this more because it's like when you're sitting in a classroom and everybody else gets it mm. and you don't. You're the only one. <laughs> the only one that doesn't yeah, get it. Because in Ferris, they're like, uh, they're all bored, aren't they? Yeah. And in like, this, they're super fry, engaged. Fry. <laughs> and this, you're right, man. This is my entire maths 
uh, experience. <laughs> <laughs> the guy from Ghost. Oh, that's right. The <laughs> weird guy. What's that cunt's name? Creepy, scary dude. And so I think the scariness is in the droopy eyes and the um, extremely high forehead. Uh, Vincent Chavilli? I don't know. This always happens as well, where everybody takes out their science Simons, projects. Yeah. <laughs> And um, Lane reaches into his pocket. Oh, yeah, that note that I gave myself. This I, I always go back to this in life. Yeah, do he opens homework. It up. It's got Chewy in it. Yeah, he's getting it unstuck. It says, do homework. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's due today, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> I was always amazed that everyone in high school looks like they're 27. Yes. Everybody's all like, and... <laughs> and... <laughs> Mr. Myers <laughs> Great <laughs> <laughs> It's time for another flashback <laughs> Yeah it is Is that That's still going Yeah <laughs> it's classic gag Hair and makeup <laughs> Everyone had to have their head freeze <laughs> For that one up. shot <laughs> Yeah They don't make comedies Like this anymore Do they? No they don't They don't I think they should X, X equals, equals <laughs> A Plus B, B Over <laughs> C Plus Z <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so good. Uh. <laughs> oh man, stage fright. Yep, I've been there. Mm. Back of the Kingswood again. Now, as a youngster, when I first watched this movie, mm. I didn't really put all this together. It was years of watching it, right? Until I got what the uh, what was actually going on. Okay, that thing that you put on me, it broke. It <laughs> yeah. broke. What do you mean it broke? <laughs> Didn't realize and get you a new one. A, I don't want a new one. A condom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was only about probably eight the years 80s. old the first time I watched this. And then quickly slip in a gag of uh, people stealing the wheels while they parked at Inspiration Point. <laughs> <laughs> I want a new one. I'm sorry. And it goes back to the blackboard <laughs> and he's like done a big baby pregnant <laughs> <laughs> equation. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sure that there's there's secrets hidden in the blackboard. So scientific, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. They're so wrapped with yeah. that assignment. Excellent. Now this is a little bit. Uh, this is creepy. Yeah, this is creepy. It hasn't aged well. No. Oh, they're wearing, um, now Beth's wearing matching outfits to the, she's going out with the ski guy now. Mm-hmm. That's the reveal. Up to that point, you don't know that she's with, uh, Lane, with him already, yeah? No, oh, no, no, the photo no, exchange. Yes. Yeah, there was. Seven and a half years. I've been going to this high school for no seven dumb. and a half years. I'm no dummy. I know high school girls. Two things. One, how about your sack? I mean, the thing about Roy is he plays the guitar. That's a good point. Yeah, you know, girls love that. Put that sample. Why don't you take up your sax again? Great advice. Number yeah, two. 80 saxophone, man. The K-12, dude. You make a gnarly run like that and girls will get sterile just looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Meyer. That's a good thing, right? Okay, now here's the creepy, creepy part. We think he's going to get into trouble for not doing his homework, but it gets creepier than that. His teacher is... Uh, oh, look, he's wearing a uh, bolo tie. This is mm. a bit awkward. Yes. Well, I've heard a few things, and, um, well, I was wondering if you would mind if I took out Beth? <laughs> That's no yeah, good. Yeah, see, she's fair game. That's what it was like. She's fair in game. reality 16. 
Yeah, is this high school or it's is this school. or is this college? I've been going to this high school for seven and a half years. I'm no gotcha. dummy. Just said it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It is high school. Yeah. And I always wanted a bloody a lunchroom like this. Yeah, look, he's school. got a big piece of cake. And he's got cake. He's more got tab. tab. He's got Hershey's. a Hershey's chocolate drink. He's got an apple. Jello. And the classic uh, doing lines of jolly. Because <laughs> <laughs> he can't get his hands on any real drugs. Because they're in a country town. And what's he got there? A little mouse in it. Is that a, Is, uh, a rat? Yeah, a rat and, um, and some kind of... Uh, Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. <laughs> Just to emphasize that he's a weirdo, you know? Mm. A freak, if you will. Now we're back to the classic, uh, the classic insert animation here mm. scene. Just to bring the eighties back together, where Lane's drawing. But it's so cool. Like it's a great, it's great art. And then it comes alive, and then you've got your uh, classic eighties uh, animation slot slot in there. Yeah, break it up a bit. Really, Lane? Why? That's sick. Sick? Beth, I love you. How could you dump me for him? Face it, Lane. You're a no-show, a loss. You're immature. You can't do a single thing by yourself. You're, You're a spastic, spastic nerf, nerf bag all the time. You're <laughs> a spastic, spastic nerf bag all the time. How yeah. could I enjoy the rest of my high school existence with you as a boyfriend? Any girl in this school would be overwhelmed with sweat just to go out with me. Uh-huh. All right. It's a long movie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Listen, you forget. Well, maybe we could do half this year and half next year. <laughs> it's not such a bad idea. The Christmas special. So let's just say you give it up. Yes, yeah, yeah, Grandma. I think, I think that's, that's a fine idea. idea. I will not give it up, Beth. <laughs> you'll, you'll be sorry someday. You want me back. Have the paper. Folly. Yeah, who pays for those lunches, by the way? Mm, don't know. Is it the I gov- think it's government, government, government subsidy, cheese? subsidy. Yeah. Uh, this was always weird. She's dating the entire basketball team. Mm. The chick on the roller skates. Yeah. We're going to have to cut that scene out too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's problem, problematic. Now, somehow Ricky's like taken on the exchange student as his girlfriend. His pseudo girlfriend. Oh, we've got a Michael Jackson um, oh, jacket in here on one of the chicks. Totally 80s, man. Imagine having to rock up to high school every day. <laughs> and this guy's got Terminator vibes. <laughs> so. You, you skate, I skate. Maybe we could get together and Look at all be the a cakes and whatnot. Team. What's going on here? It's never like that. It's sloppy Joe's. Oh, this is the zapped moment. Yeah. <laughs> Gratuitous. <laughs> he boob falls scene. and pulls her dress off. She's standing there in her underwear. Yeah, and they're not very uh, attractive underwears either. They'll, like, no. Well, they like, maybe for the 80s. Tight, yeah. No color in them. So he's just, uh, we're flashed to. Um, him tending to his wounds from getting a beat down from the basketball team. And he's uh, tired. It's rock been, bottom. He's oh. tired being slashed as well. Oh, now the teacher's driving off with Beth. Mm, in a car. He took the date. That's so weird. Extra weird. Uh-oh. <laughs> Back to teenage suicide. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, Tim. Isn't it? <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. Yes, you are. Oh, fuck up, little camper. We'll beat that slope together. Yeah? Yeah. I'm right behind you, buddy. You've just been pushed off into a garbage bin. We'll leave this in. <laughs> Man, I 
That's a real shame when folks be throwing away a perfectly good white boy like that. That's for the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to the K2. K12, Tim. K12. Yeah. Ah. There's 10 more than the, than the two. Okay. Because is K2 the big one? But this is like K2. K12, yeah. bro. You know, he loves... Uh, Snorting things, doesn't he? He's trying to find his trying to find his drugs. The street value of this mountain is Charles. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it. I'm sure ah. I can't show this anymore. Uh. Drug is <laughs> oh. outrageous. I think I froze the left half of my brain. Look, I can't move my right arm. Will you get serious? Oh, look, dude. It's Christmas Eve. So yeah, this is bizarre, right? right? Now, drinking this He's saying it's uh, Christmas Eve. Did they just turn Have it into a Christmas movie halfway through it? Because aren't they at school? Down. Like yeah. two seconds ago? Yeah, but like I think Christmas happens in the middle of their year. Of their school year? Yeah, they finish. Winter, they so finish they... spring break. Summer break is uh, June to. Oh, true that. True that. June to August or something. So you got to go to school right up until the Christmas Yeah, Eve. you're up there in the middle. You have a day off, right. two days off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. It sucks, Correct man. us if we're go wrong. That way. Really fast. If something, if something gets, gets in your way, way turn. turn. Good advice. That is. The best skiing advice what ever. Mm, what a coach. <laughs> Will really he make it? It doesn't look that st steep, does it? It's pretty steep. Oh, he's over. <laughs> and this is the stuntman kicks in. <laughs> well, how many takes do they have to do to get this right? Now turn! At least two, because all the snow's already upset. <laughs> Cut oh, to dad. He's got his... All his windows fixed. All his windows uh, fixed. Pesky, uh, paper boy. It smashes all the windows. It's a surprise Janice. <laughs> <laughs> so Christmas Day. Right, that's it. We're into Christmas. This is Christmas Day. Okay. Um, but then they go back to school. For, I guess they uh, do. For the prom. They do, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Giant teddy bear as big as you. Sounds great. <laughs> and all he's taken all the uh, pictures of Beth down slowly. Oh, yeah. So you can see that he's slowly getting better, you know? Mm. So he got uh, he got Beth a tiny teddy bear. And the other guy got a teddy bear as big as you. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that took off the um, Classic fireplace, fireplace in the, the TV, TV. Yeah. shtick. Mm. Yeah, you can do that on, um, what's that? YouTube? Not YouTube. Netflix. <laughs> okay. Well, Netflix has got fire now. Yeah, it's got a fire. Wow. This is a classic scene. The, um... Just got in TV dinners. TV dinners, that's it. <laughs> China. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Ricky's house. <laughs> She's Can great. Frozen. <laughs> Ricky. Scooched in the couch. Yeah. With mum and Ricky. Look at R Look Ricky's at Ricky's gunt. Like, gunt. <laughs> what is that? It's the eighties, man. <laughs> Harry High Pants, Merth, Chris Merth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's from Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. She looks French, but she does a terrible French accent. Yeah. Oh, it's and it's Ricky's. Um, well, that's what I wanted to give. Um, it's Ricky's Matt. press shot. That's what I wanted to give Whelan for Christmas. A picture ah, of Ricky. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great idea. Ah, so teen suicide again. Back to the suicide. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to top himself in the shed. This time gas himself in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to be wearing one of these. <laughs> Got him a massive reindeer it's real coat. Aardvark. Oh, Aardvark. Aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, it sure it's true. 
warm. 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 <laughs> now for the best part, oh, the hood. Uh, the house hood. It's got an ad kit on the top. <laughs> Everyone's going to be wearing one of these this year. Turns out everyone was going to be wearing one of these. Mm. The, the fairies, people love dressing they up They do like animals. that, don't they? Yeah, really took off. Uh, this is where we find out that she's really not into it. <laughs> oh, the big reveal for Janice, for the shed. All the new pieces of glass. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in the shed. And he's about to back out of <laughs> He's passing out, puts it into reverse, smashes through the garage. But none of the mirror windows break, see? Yeah. <laughs> and the neighbor's wearing an aardvark suit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so funny. Merry Christmas. Everybody's going to be wearing these. Ah, oh, there goes a glass. Ah, classic character, Rienzo. <laughs> right. Wow, man. He's just this dropping always, letters everywhere. I love it. He always reminded me of Rio, our hairdresser. Oh, Rienzo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's check it out in the mail. What do you want from pretty smutty book? <laughs> hey, Badger. Hi, Badger. Your book on how to pick up trashy women came He's today. kind of creepy, too. Tell me something. Isn't he? What's a little boy like you doing with big boy smut like this? Hi, Lane. Hey, Lane. I was just wondering. Just wondering uh, so everyone's <laughs> after Bear. <laughs> yeah. Beth and uh, I can see that you're, <laughs> not going, you're not going out with her anymore, so I was wondering if maybe I could be with her <laughs> or... <laughs> I mean, uh, she's hot, but yeah, but everybody wants wants Beth. Another daddy, daddy son talk. Look, Dad, I'm really sorry about the garage door. Let me give you the bottom line. Mm. I think it would be entirely beneficial if you were to re-enter the sociological mainstream by re-engaging oh, the ritual act of dating members of the opposite. Sex. This always right. stuck in my know, head. I know the name of the well, date. I'm sorry. Joanne Greenwald. Oh yeah, is the date he goes on. Right, his dad set him up. Yeah, is this still Christmas Day? Or is this the next day? Must be the next day. Yeah, it's Boxing Day specials. Okay, oh. so the Christmas party is very short lived. Yeah, and everything's packed up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a brand new mellow year. off, man. <laughs> a New Year's Eve dance. That's what it is. Mm. Right. So is that how they do it? I don't think so. He's really bringing me over. He's a good man. dad. He's like very understanding. <laughs> yeah. Six o'clock. Right on. Right on. On. <laughs> on. Damn it. <laughs> Johan Greenwald. One chance to go out with a real stud. One night with me, and she'll probably go blind with ecstasy. Poor creature. <laughs> Poor creature. <laughs> Is this you getting ready? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Classic deodorant move. Yeah, uh, I think that took off in society and people use too much deodorant. Watch that mic there. Okay, they've still got their Christmas decorations up. <laughs> Little doggy doodle delights. <laughs> she lays it down. Joanne Greenwald's got a full headgear for, what is it, braces. I like the way she breaks this down. Yeah. Ten buck dinner. But I'm willing to give you the better of the doubt. <laughs> Double desserts. Twenty-two dollars all together. Tax and tip. Making it a grand total of twenty-six dollars and thirty-seven cents. Half of which. $13.67. That's a cheap date. Mm. $13.67. And we'll call it a night. Yeah. <laughs> so Badger's reading how to pick up trashy women. Putting also, his uh, genius to work. And then the introduction of uh, Pooh Herman's girlfriend. 
Now in a band. That's why I think it's the same universe. Now it's New Year's Eve. Hey, Pee Wee. Oh, okay. She wasn't Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, she was the girlfriend in Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, that's right. And this is her other gig, because she was pretty cool in that too. Definitely. Dotty. Yeah, right. Is that what it is? That's in uh, Pee Wee Herman. Okay. Dotty. Hey, Dotty. Yeah. So this is, they're at the school New New Year's Year's Eve dance. So we've skipped. Dance disco fun. No, that's been a week now. Mm. Or like four four days soaking wet. Okay. Since Chrissy. Yeah. You jump. We can we can jump through time. Yeah. Classic eighties party though. Sitting on their own lame single yeah. biggest, rock bottom. Biggest losers in school. But how did he get Beth in the first place? That's what I want to know. Who hired this band? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> Put this. <laughs> it's the best comeback, isn't it? You just laugh in his face. Yeah. This uh, this guy's a composite of all of your friends from school put into one. This is me. Yeah. This is... No, the, this guy with the hat <laughs> is everybody else. It's Jamie. It's Phil. It's Rob. It's everyone <laughs> mashed into one. <laughs> uh, how's that dress? She's about to pop out of that. I'll be thing. better after it. Oh, she like, said it. Got, she said the thing. She's got armored, like plated tits. Mm. This is for the soundtrack. Oh, in comes Ricky. His moment to to shine. To shine. He's finally got a date. <laughs> His confidence is high. <laughs> he's a he's a narcissist, just like in real life. Mm. Narcissist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, his date is the foreign exchange student. This is where we this is where we start to arc the story. Yeah. Oh, we must be uh halfway through soaking wet, eh? I'd say so. They've already got New Year's Eve party. Yeah, we we're, we're, we're just at the halfway mark. I guess it's uh everything's hitting its marks on the movie, isn't it? <laughs> That's the dress, dude. <laughs> I just so pop yeah. out of that thing. Oh, uh, uh, Ricky's there. already on the dance floor. Got to give him props. Yeah. <laughs> He's throwing her around like a rag doll. In <laughs> fact, I don't need you. This is all about me. <laughs> this is the narcissism right here. Yeah. And he's going to go into a classic worm. All right, here we go. Here's a bit. This is the jazz bot. <laughs> <laughs> Circle work. <laughs> That's the jazz bot. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, we're not. Uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> So Ricky's going to do his his uh, titular move, right? He's going to okay, he's gonna dive go into, into the, the worm. worm. <laughs> 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 Face plant. He's out. I've seen dudes at your gigs do that. Yeah, that's that happens. That <laughs> Jump off stage. Happens. That dude Face fucking plant. poleaxed himself. All right, so she just did the, done the uh, Better Off Dead song, right? Yeah. And now we're going to slow For the it soundtrack. right down. Now that we just got you on the dance floor having fun, yeah, let's that's, slow it down to the It's uh, always the way, isn't it? Everybody's look at all the lovers. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's in the distance looking for people. I knew right away. I knew right away. (laughs) 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 All right, she's bailed. So she was only there for two songs. Right. She bailed. Yeah. And he, she's uh, she's pushed over the lane. It's the uh, meet cute is what we call it. Is it? Yeah, that's what it's called. Is, is there a song about that? Meet cute, <laughs> meet cute, meat fibers, <laughs> smoking meats, smoking meats, and meat, meat fibers, fibers. meat lane. <laughs> He's doing a Matt Whelan. <laughs> <laughs> the old broken English went around a foreign uh, person. So, uh, <laughs> oh, Ricky's right. awake. He's got a balloon. Where did she go? I love this. Ricky's got the balloon and he, he realizes, oh, wait, that's pretty he uncool. It, he tries oh, to jump and get it. <laughs> fly me free. <laughs> <laughs> Monique. I think this is the first time we hear him speak. Isn't yeah. Lean. Ricky. He's got quite the outfit. Acquaintance. So, (laughs) 
Honk the old horn. Have we had um, we had Christmas dinner already? We did that already, didn't we? Where his her head explodes, or did we miss that? No. Where's yeah, didn't I have French toast and French yeah salad and to drink Peru? Or is it coming back? Maybe they have another. They dinner. have another dinner party. Yeah. All right. Or have we just entered the uh, Mandela Mandela yeah. effect again? Everybody's leaving the party. There's two songs. Hmm. And and the mother's already here to pick up. Monet. Okay, her face hasn't exploded yet. Thanks for ruining the end of the movie for me. It's a strange party. So Ricky and Monique rock up. They do the first dance. They're already getting picked up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. That's very strange. Mother will be very angry if you're not there. Picking us up at the outside front of the, of the school. school. We're outside of the school. She picked <laughs> us up right here. So she's in the right spot. Ah, now we're classic $2 guy. Dollars. He's brought all his boys with him. The whole gang. All the paper boys. <laughs> paper boys over there. Chased. Keys! <laughs> Classic horror. Horror moves. Cheesy wants his $2. I've just found here the uh, release date 23rd of August 1985. Yeah, right. Um, just in time for Christmas. <laughs> directed by Savage Holland. Uh, yeah. Budget was, you want to have a guess how much it cost? 250 grand. <laughs> to make? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, a little bit more than that. Two mil. 3.5 million. Yeah, right. Uh, and it made at the box office 10.3. So it was a raging success. Yeah, all right, really. I'd say. I'd say. It's, it's good, good laundering. Mm. <laughs> and then um, we got get back to the uh, to the house here and Lane's going into his brother's bedroom and he's already achieved. Sure enough, the, the book, How to Pick Up Trashy Women, has worked. He's got five trashy women in his room. <laughs> Which is also very inappropriate. What are those women doing there? Yeah, this is... This, this movie's riddled with uh, questions, isn't yeah. it? And they were clearly like ladies of the night. Mm. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's happening there. Badger. <laughs> uh, now his Badger's got a how to build your own space shuttle. Uh, cut he's gone. He's gone. All in. Oh, and Jess, this is uh, cooking a lobster. That's all with uh, another puppets. There puppets, you go. yeah. Practical. As it soon does. as she puts that in, it comes alive. Yeah, someone's grabbed it. Yeah. And then we get another trailer. Trailer moment. This is for the trailer. Lane's uh, freshening up. <laughs> In the bathroom. Lane? Let's see. According to... Oh, he's got a job interview. According to the director, the film is mostly mostly autobiographical. Oh, fucking hell. Auto, autobiographical. <laughs> Holland uh, really was suicidal when his high school girlfriend left him for captain of the ski team. <laughs> oh, right. Also, he really did have a paper boy named Johnny okay. who would harass him for $2. According to Holland, when the film came out, the ex-girlfriend contacted him to apologize. All oh, right. There you go. Yeah. Beth. She came through. <laughs> and so this... And Lane's putting all the, um, the earbuds... In his ears, in nose, and everything, and it reminds me of the sticky tape moments where we used to put sticky tape over our faces. And oh, that's a Pee Wee Herman move. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, that, that is a Pee Wee Herman move. <laughs> <laughs> so he's finally got. He's got. His dad's got him a job, and he's at um at the big pig. Or at the big it? pig, it's actually the guy that he's been running into in the car during the car chases. Hmm. Look at all the cigars he's got in his top pocket. <laughs> Let's see if you have any brains, huh? First, you take the meat. <laughs> it's disgusting. Yeah. Patterned into People. pig shapes. <laughs> no. This is a push. This is a pack. Then you take the pig wolf and you put it up on the tray. I put it on his head. You 
see that sign out there? Beware with privacy. Everybody wants some. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh. Do you want to know why Cusack hates the movie? <laughs> Why's that? Well, according to Holland, the director, mm. in an interview that John Cusack hated this movie and walked out of the film after 20 minutes during a special screening prior to the start of production on one crazy summer. Uh, right. Which was uh, also classic. The next morning, Cusack basically walked up to me and was like, you know, you've tricked me. Better Off Dead was the worst thing I have ever seen. I will never trust you as a director again, so don't speak to me. <laughs> okay, do I have really, to pay you? He was just really upset. And I said, what happened? What's wrong? Yeah. He just said that it sucked and it was the worst thing he'd ever seen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that he'd used him and made a fool out of him. Nah, man. And all this other stuff. And all this other stuff. It was uh, it was so left out of field, it just floored me. C Cusack completely, uh, completed principal photography on one crazy summer due to uh, co uh, contractual obligations. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so he didn't want to do that one either. Ah, what the fucking, what's his problem? And then we're going into the classic, um, another classic animation scene. Into yeah. an almost video clip. The um, Van Halen vehicle. Everybody, mm. everybody wants some. Yeah. Now, what was done first? The song or the movie? Was it a song it's... written for the movie? Everybody wants some? I think it was already a song. Right. And they've used it. They've adopted it. Yeah. So but you'd think that Van Halen would uh, use this as their film clip, right? Everybody wants some. Maybe yeah. they did. Did they? Yeah. Doing the classic uh, Frankenstein, and bring, I use this. I the use this uh, this song in my DMC set. Oh, you did. Yeah, my intro. Obviously, we can't play this because it will definitely get flagged. Yeah, well, then we'll cut the sound out. What here? <laughs> <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! <sighs> So it's and a, cut. <laughs> it's a great animation for three point five million dollars on the budget. I think this is where they spent it all. I don't know why Cusack's so disappointed. I'd be fucking wrapped. Well, he didn't get to this bit. He walked out twenty minutes. Yeah, in. he missed the he missed the best bits. The character's going to turn around, mate. Relax. Everybody was doing this. This is this has got to be. Um, do you reckon this is uh, Ardman? Sorry? Ardman that What's did Ardman? Um, the animation dudes that do all the British animations, oh, okay. um, Wallace and Gromit and the like. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Because um, that was popular because they just done the film clip for uh, Sledgehammer. I want to be oh, Sledgehammer. Yes. <laughs> so that was all animation. Peter, Peter so Gabriel. it was like, yeah, it was a, uh, <laughs> the Peter Gabriel vehicle. vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this. Uh, Henry Winkler was instrumental in getting the film made. Right. In the early 1980s. Uh, That's blah, blah, Fonzie. Blah. Yeah, that is Fonzie. Mm. Oh, at Winkler's suggestion, Holland checked out John Cusack's In the Sure Thing, 1985. Yeah, right. Which Winkler executive produced. Well, while you're acting in this movie, wouldn't you, wouldn't you think... This is no good? This is the movie? You know, you're doing the bits? Hmm. Yeah. You clearly put the um, pig head good. on. He did it. You've read the script. You, yeah, you did the thing. You get the joke, don't you? You did all the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> you took the money. Mm, don't know. Apparently, he's a bit explosive. Is he? Q yeah, right. Yeah, a bit of a bit temper. Of a, a bit of a temper. Yeah, right. Perfect for the role then. Mm. Yeah? He's back up to the K-12. He's doing it. And, and he's, he's failing. fucked up. <laughs> 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 That's the other take. You know, there was two uh, takes, yeah. I said. That was the other take. He's copping it. Yeah, he's back home. Rock bottom. <laughs> I think he's a little concussed. <laughs> 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 How to build your own space shuttle with household items. <laughs> ah. New York man suicide by fire. Hey it's there, Elaine. The, the I know this is mm. a little awkward, me being a cartoon and all. I was just wondering how you'd feel if I took out Beth. <laughs> a 
Barney Rubble, he's a good actor. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's back to the teenage suicide. He's going to burn <laughs> himself to death. That's not good. <laughs> uh, despite good his setup. initial hatred of the film, um, Cusack admitted in a 2013 interview that he did not hate the film or making it. While he wishes some of the things were it were better, he stated that he feels that way about... You know, he stated... He feels that way about every movie he has made. Gotcha. And, yeah, and is happy to achieve, to achieve cult status. Okay, good. Now he says that now yeah. slowly, but he says it. <laughs> what if you still, is that just still making money it? off the back end? Okay, so this is just a dinner party. Ah, uh, this is the scene you're talking about. Is this a New Year's party? I think just come over. Okay, you know, dinner party styles. To welcome the um, French uh, exchange student, exchange student yeah. to the area, Peru. <laughs> I said, "Are you enjoying your stay?" In our town. <laughs> he doesn't. She <laughs> <just> speaks French. <laughs> you stay in a... <laughs> no, this is the... The international language <laughs> of love. <laughs> you know... <laughs> No. Love. <laughs> the language of love. <laughs> With her. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's like, right, that's it. He's pouring the, he's pouring the gasoline, the kerosene in a bowl. Right, and dabbing then, himself down. And then she's pouring it into a glass, mistaking it for some um, fine liqueur. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't smell the gasoline. <laughs> Having a sip. <laughs> this fabulous liqueur. <laughs> Uh-oh. And her face exploded. <laughs> She's just blown up <laughs> her head. <laughs> Doctor said she'll be okay. All right. Um, 20 things you might not know about Better Off Dead. Okay. Yeah. Hit me with him. <laughs> Number 20. Uh, Cusack took the lead role after being turned down by uh, for Back to the Future. All oh, right. Okay. I feel a deep fake coming on there. We I watched a bit of that. Deep Fake where they put different actors in different movies. Mm. Very good. Very good. Why not? Mm. Oh, and that's why he was cut because like Back to the Future made almost $389 million. But Back to the Future had a, they had a bloody car chase in it. What are you, chicken? True. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and when the uh, Russians are trying to get the dock in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. when yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Okay, number 19 was semi-autobiographical. Oh, fuck, I cannot. You can't say it? It's, that's your... <laughs> Autobiographical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll do. Um, for Savage. Yeah, great, whatever. Okay. Where so, they're engaging in a car chase. He's finally giving these guys a run for his money. And the classic nuns crossing the road. It's an old yeah, gag. Yeah, the old classic standard. There's always none. One of, none's one of them's got a huge movies. ghetto blaster. She did, didn't she? Why is that? I don't know. Oh yeah, construction worker. That's the same. He was a dancer, that guy, for sure. Ah, uh, Kingswood in the drink. So I always remember it being way deeper than that, but that's like only up to the tires. He's destroyed his car. Cue the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the geese? Like geese, goose, swans. What were they? Ducks? Uh, they were ducks. Yeah, I think they were ducks. Yeah, Tim. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So Roy Stalin, the actor, mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Dozer. So that's their boyfriend. Dozer. 
was very rude to the director in his audition. Right. So he came in character. Okay. Is that the uh, is that the skiing guy? Yeah, the captain of the ski team. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. He's, uh, he's that's, that's the way I'd picture Rudolph Bernstein. Oh, and then he goes, uh, on arriving for his audition, Dozer uh, had never met director Savage, uh, Savage Steve Holland yeah. before. But, uh, the actor then asked another person in the, in the room, who's this chubby kid? <laughs> and so it was very insulting. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was just a bit of a prick. <laughs> you got the role. <laughs> You're an asshole. Yeah. Uh, number 17, Paperboy. The paper boy approached mm. the part as if I was a serial killer with no intention of making it funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's Pilot hilarious. Kid. He's the best. He got it. He nailed it. <laughs> it was only 12. Slade, he was. Yeah, right. Yeah. We didn't see what ended up happening to him, do we? You do right at the end. No, I'm saying oh. the actor. Oh, we'll have to Plus go actor. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, looks, yeah. it looks like uh, Lane's getting along with the exchange shit now as the uh, the love arc begins. Uh, number 16. Ricky the, being the third. The an- animated wheel. burger scene was added to replace a rejected scene about deep fried rat. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, they nailed it. They nailed it. What is this? What's your name? In the original script, there was a scene in which a rat accidentally falls into a deep fryer. <laughs> Uh, and is served up to a customer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me. I mean, there's funny ways to do it, isn't there? The mm. won't be the same if you're not there, champ. Okay, he's being challenged for the K-12. So uh, what are you and Meyer talking about? Is he telling you what a great lover he is? She only speaks French, Roy. She doesn't speak imbecile. Ooh. Meyer, there's one language that I speak that... All women understand. Love, love, Just ask like your last love. girlfriend. Would you like to learn some new words? Shit! Stupid! Oh, Paul, don't wash your sweet toy, stupid! What's going on, on here? Nothing! Just learning that Meyer's new frog girlfriend here is just as much of a clod as he is. Hey, hold on, champ! You think you're such a big tough guy because you're captain of the ski team. The truth is, I could outski you any day of the week. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you want a race, I'll take you on any day, sucker. Yeah, I'm sure. From the K-12 champ. <laughs> chicken? Yeah, so they're back at school, Tim. What did you say? That's the old chicken. What did you call me? Oh, liar. See? You're digging your own grave. No one has to know, just me and you. No one Sunday. has to know. <laughs> High noon. You High are. noon. <laughs> showdown. It's a bro-down showdown. Uh, number 15. Did yeah. you say, oh, we, we've we Meyer will be racing Royce down, down K-12 this Sunday at 12 noon. noon. Um, oh, Cusack has since clarified that he doesn't hate the film. Yeah, we got that one. <laughs> 13, it flopped at the box office, but was huge on home video. Well, f- flopped at 10 mil? I think that was must have been the, all the, the video, video, entire. Sale, video oh, sales well. as well. Okay, yeah it's, and, yeah. yeah, it's failure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ah, uh, Tim? Writer director Holland and and actor Dan Schneider went on to work in children's TVs. Yeah, did they? Yeah, right. right yeah, they? okay. Maybe look into that mm-hmm. a little further. Then don't. Just put that name into Google and see what comes up, shall ya? <laughs> yeah, number 11, Steve Savage went on to work on with kids. Yeah, yeah right. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. emphasize number that. Number 10. Number 10, the ski lodge scenes in Hot Time Machine include a nod to Better Off Dead. Yeah, right. Okay, didn't... Okay. Cross that. Same universe again. I Same universe. Q- Cusack's in it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, this is where he meets the guy in the shop saying, yeah, I'm totally bailed out. Got pitted. <laughs> totally pitted, dude. <laughs> uh, number nine, uh, the Fonz helped get the movie made. Yep. It sounds like these are things you've already told me. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Number yeah. eight. The film's tagline was changed from sometimes you're better off dead following complaints. Hey, right. I love this suicide thing, didn't he? Well, yeah. That's it. That's, that's the whole thing. Oh, that's... okay. The 
number seven, the the um, two dollars is back. <laughs> I want my two dollars. <laughs> Yuji Yukimoto's dialogue. So the dude's right in the um, in the car racing. Yeah, it's, his dialogue was dubbed over by Rich Little. Okay, that was a. From a man who knows oh, no, how no, to no. ski. Howard uh, Co- Cosell. Oh, yeah. Is the... Is the... the Never voice. have a man such before. <laughs> <laughs> Through the car wash. He's washing the kid off. No. Two dollars. No. <laughs> oh, and then there was... Number six is the first of several co- collaborations between Savage and Armstrong. They're the directors. Whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Curtis Armstrong's uh, Booga. Oh, yeah. Nerd. Yeah, a bunch of goddamn nerds. Oh, he was also in um, Risky Business. Risky Business. Yeah, it's a Tom Cruise vehicle. Yeah, right. From the 80s. Right? <laughs> is that the same universe? I think we're all in the same universe. Ah, mm. oh, here we go. We've just found out that uh, Monique can speak English, and she's been understanding the whole time. Yes. Love. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> so this chick's uh, Diane Franklin. Okay. Uh, and her performance got her an invitation to sing the national anthem at Dodger Stadium because you know the oh, last right. scene in there at the Dodger Stadium baseball field. Yeah. Sitting in the, sitting in the car. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they got her to cross promotion. You know. Okay. Same universe. <laughs> <laughs> There's your steady. Dodgers, see? Soon afterwards, she largely retired from acting. Right. There you go. Uh, number three, the film's California town, Greendale, doesn't actually exist. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Make blue. <laughs> Monique. Not anymore. Better off, better off <laughs> better alive. Off. <laughs> so Lane's mother, uh, Janice, was uh, inspired by the director's own mother. There you go, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> and what's number one with a bullet? What is number one with a bullet? Ah, a prolific cartoon voice actor, Elizabeth Daly, appears as the singer. So the little chick. Oh, in the dress. On, she's a voiceover. Yeah, she's got that high pitched voice. So yeah, right. That okay. makes total sense, doesn't it? Can we look up That's her the number one with the bullet? Let's see what what voices she does. Why don't you go into her little? All right. You just click her name over and get the IMDb DPT. Oh, it's never that easy, Tim. Isn't it? No, I got to do a copy and paste. Yeah, right. That's that's what I find is the easiest way to do it. Lane <laughs> 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 throws throws the lemon through someone's window. Classic moment. Oh, now we go into the classic eighties montage. The fix the uh, fix the camera. Chuck a diet coke in there, why don't you? Uh, let's see what she's been in. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had that Camaro. Hmm. Oh, it's her under there. the car, that's right. What is it? Okay. Uh, Daly's best known for her animation voice roles as Tommy Pickles on Rugrats. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tommy. Yeah, that's, that's her. Yeah, right. That's bizarre. And it's spin off all grown up. Buttercup on the Power Puff Girls. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Rudy Tabuti talk <laughs> zone. I don't know what okay. that is. Oh, in the movie Babe, Pig in the City. Okay. There you go. And Bam Bam Rubble from the live action film The Flintstones. Yeah, right. Chuck a voice in there, eh? Valley Girl, Dog Fight, No Small Affair, Fandango, Street Fight. Yeah. Fandango. <laughs> oh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. There you go. All right, so she's gone on to many things. Voiceovers, man. It's the way of the future. Mm. You don't have to keep your bunch looking good. You can just age gracefully. Yeah, as long as your voice is in uh, intact. All right, so killer montage. <laughs> Sorry, they're, the, they're under the bonnet of the car. And they're getting oily. She keeps scrubbing that spanner. She's just wiping the spanner. <laughs> How did he not know that he was... I, I wouldn't be trusting her to fix my car, to be honest. No. And they get the manual out. So how do you change the diff? Are they sitting in the engine bay? They are. Or is it so, the... so uncomfortable. It is. Oh, yeah. New parts. It's an air filter. I screwing think. it on. And, and look, he's, it. Just, he's just... He's just screwing it on. That's it. That's the montage. <laughs> then putting the wheel on. So there wasn't that much to do to the Camaro. No. The oil he just, change. He just didn't know how to do it. Yeah. Kind of and that's it. Car's ready. Like, oh, that was the most amazing day of they our They screwed lives. two things on. Yeah. Emptied the oil. <laughs> New air filter. And, oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> it. An oil change. Just need to tune up, mate. What is that oil all over her face? Is it a good French accent or is it terrible? Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> she always did. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I was also into uh, Ferris Bueller's girlfriend, Sloane. Sloane. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's my, that's my first... Uh, Hollywood crush. Well, you could call it that, but <laughs> is that what the kids are calling it now? I don't think so, no. So we're moving into the last, what, 20-minute 20, 20 block, I think, going here. I think we've done pretty well. Is it? <laughs> well, if you're still listening, you've done well. Wow. Well. That's for sure. Oh, he's realised that he's got a bloody train. He's, right. he's got I'm... a train for the bloody... No, he's got to do the competition now. He's, he's skipped his training. So they literally fixed that car, got all the parts in under like eight hours. They must have had the parts there. Just, just, didn't, know how to, there, just didn't, didn't know how to do it, mate. Right. I, I know the feeling. I had cars in my driveways for years. <laughs> um, ended up selling them in parts. Before they rusted away. To Elaine Myers. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna do this car up just like an Eddie's montage. Yeah, the Camaro. So it's not registered. The SS. Look at it, it's mint. Yeah. A little too mint. A little. It's been sit under the mouldy tarp for a year. Mm. Past the old Kingswood. <laughs> <laughs> ah. ah, back to the drag race with the Japanese dudes. Mm. They're in a sweet Ford as well. Look yeah, they there. are. Ford Look at that. Fairlane? Sounds about right. Yeah. Fairmont? Fairlane, I think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on. He's just realised. Gives him a wink. Oh, it got the run on him. <laughs> yeah, so he speeds off, right? And then they're... The Japanese dude's dates don't like it. That well, they've been, in they've the been dishonored. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they bailed. You idiots. So he's, <laughs> there you go. So he got his he got his back on those guys. Yeah, that's a wrap up on those dudes. Yeah. Isn't it? Does he wrap up on this guy? <laughs> the big pig. So big he's, charburgers. He's got the keys to his work. He's only worked there one shift. He fucked the joint when he on his one shift. Yeah. Kept the keys, and now he's doing a B and E. Okay. Breaking and entering <laughs> into the premises. For a hot date. For a hot date. A private date. A, like a $5 date. Because, mm. you know, when uh, Joanne Greenwald was going to go out on a date, they were getting two desserts, a full meal, and it was only thirteen seventy seven seventy six. 76. Yeah. 
I don't know where I am. <laughs> and he set, he set it up. Just do that shit at your house, mate. Like, it's very tacky. Mm. When you have pig a burgers. date at the pig burgers, yeah. Mm. So romantic. Three candles. <laughs> and again, he's 16 or 17. Yeah, in, real, right. in in like in the movie. Okay, world. in the movie world, is he? Oh yeah, because he's at high school. He's got his champagne. She's <laughs> <his> bumanti. <laughs> Two buck chuck. One more thing. <laughs> ah, the TV oh, dinners. He's serving mum... up the TV dinners. Right. Well, yeah, that's the mum's arc. Yeah. Well, solved. That, that's in line though with. Uh, a sixteen-year-old's budget for a date. Sure. TV dinner. Break into the break old. into a place. <laughs> Light some candles. Nice soft lighting on her. Just one more thing. <laughs> this is how you definitely know you're in the eighties. This next part. Where this he, next move. Yeah. He's taking his mate's advice. I don't know. He's playing a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> it's a synthesized saxophone, which would be really annoying. She's like right next to that hole there and he's blowing away. It's not <laughs> romantic. They always go to the sax, don't they? The 80s, dude. You have to have it. It's funny, though. And we're panning do, over. Do, 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 Just as a little like joke wrap up. It's the two hamburgers from animation. <laughs> from the animation. <laughs> and they're in love. No, that's great, isn't it? Full circle. And this is a big race day. I guess this is the climactic scene, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. Oh, no, this is the training for. Okay. Go that way really fast. If anything gets in your way, turn. It's <laughs> <laughs> great advice. <laughs> Of course, Frenchie can bloody ski the K-12, no worries. Yeah. She's all over it. Take me in. So it doesn't look that steep, really. Yeah, I don't know. For me, it's pretty pretty steep. Don't know if I'd want to be skiing that fast. That is freezing <laughs> on that day, man. <laughs> if you could do it. <laughs> He's jumping in too high and yeah. early. Oh, shit. And that stunt man. How many times did they make that's, him? That's three far. Definitely. I don't know how many takes he could do. <laughs> uh, we're just ah. going to do it one more time, ah. Gary. Ah. <laughs> ah. He keeps still rolling, going. rolling. I love it. That's great. He's Whoa. doing a Homer Simpson. Yeah. Ooh, ah. uh, and <laughs> slide in. That's how I ended up on my, my first day of skiing. I ended up sitting on the skis to get yeah. down. It was oh, too, really? Yeah. Did that work? It did. Very yeah, great. More like a toboggan. <laughs> I don't think he's got what it takes to get down the K-12, man. I don't think he does. <laughs> After the, oh no quick montage of her training him doing moguls okay right forgot about this bit so this is the day of the race it is isn't so it so he was only ever like half an hour good montage away from being the perfect skier yeah that's right that's all you needed just a quick um, 35 second <laughs> shot of them going down one hill oh yeah they're so in love though guys good skiing you know. though <laughs> is that a guy in a wig when Being does it her? become boring skiing uh, like day two when you get down to the bottom and you have to go up to the top again and I you're guess. freezing cold because mm. you're sweating underneath and then yeah. you get up in the cold lift did I <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah classic fall onto each other oh they're we're gonna have a they're moment we're gonna, gonna kiss Is it going to happen? Would it be okay if I kissed you? Oh, he's been ruined. Booger. Practically everybody in the state of Northern California so Booger's rocked up and just said that everyone's waiting to see 
one Lane Meyer. <laughs> Tackle this totally untamed slope. Ah, oh, Booger's just gone over Lane's bloody ski. And he's busted it. Love, love. She's talking about love. I think what we call that on the mountains is snow bunny. It's a good. She's a nine. She's a mountain that. mountain nine. Oh yeah, yeah. But she's also what? a straight nine. So a city, a city eight. Probably but a city mountain eight. nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's realised his, his ski's busted up. And what's he going to do? Uh oh. It's the two dollar boy. I want my two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do you reckon that this is the the, the start of X Games? Because that um, the BMX rider was uh, he had skis. On his BMX. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. Have we seen that? Have we seen that on the uh, extreme sports though? I'll Bike riding yeah. down I'll the snow. Say, I'll say yes. Sounds like a Red Bull thing. Now here we go. Start of the race. He's skiing on one ski. <laughs> He's skiing on one ski. <laughs> Freshly groomed slope. Yep. Two dollars. Two dollar man chasing. I mean, that's a stunt in itself, isn't it? It's a cool bike. Yeah. <laughs> Something's following him. Look, so the bike's on a ski and he's wearing skis as well. It's yeah. sick. It's crazy. You come off that, you're dead. Yeah. Are the wheels solid? solid? Yeah, yeah they're, they're locked in. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's just uh, been he's off a cliff. thrown off the cliff. That is such a big cliff. <laughs> like a rag no doll. way any human's going to survive this. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's <laughs> so <garbage>. good. <laughs> Yeah, they really killed that kid. Oh, no, he's alive. I want my $2. He's alive, $2. everyone. He's, Don't he's worry. He's okay. He's okay, folks. Will that be the last we see of him? Yes. No, I think not. Isn't it? No, nah, there's one more. Is there? Yeah. Oh, that guy is hammering on They're one going foot. going fast. Uh, on one foot. It's got to be hard. You couldn't do that many times. Good job. Oh, have you ever seen an amputee ski? Uh, no. <laughs> you don't go to the snowfields often <laughs> enough. No, no, okay. Oh, the neck and neck boys, girls. That dude one, is hammering down the hill on one, one ski. One ski, doing the moguls. Oh, they've uh, crossed the uh, neck and neck. See, he definitely would have won with two skis. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Is he still running? Is he running the race now or is he still running away from the kid? I think he's running <laughs> from the kid still. <laughs> yeah, over the bloody jump. He's just ahead, isn't he? Oh, by millimetres, mate. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Green Dale High right. Winter Ski Trials. And he pulls in and he wins, everyone. Victory. Five millimetres. <laughs> ah, he's the hero of the town. Oh, 
We did it. We did it, boys. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now she's jumping on board. Bloody, what's her name? Beth. Beth. She's back, is she? Ah, oh, she just wants to be out with the popular kid. I've been worried about you, Monique. Ricky. And Ricky's mum's face is <laughs> totally exploded. <laughs> Lane's looking for bloody Frenchie. Uh oh, there's one more showdown. Yeah. <laughs> Language lessons. Language lessons. <laughs> From a, a man who knows, knows how to ski. <laughs> Here we go. Come with me over there. You'd be wise to do what Mother says, Meyer. Oh, yeah. Jousting. Classic. Nah, it's a classic. Uh, sword fight. Sword fight with uh, the. Um, lightsabers. Lightsabers, yeah. Not as, uh, much, not as much training as Mark Hamill did for no. his. Uh, uh, he's killing Ricky. He's whipping, he's whipping his ass. Kick him in the gunt. <laughs> Final showdown. Oh, he's, he's, got, oh, he's managed to get his thing out. Out of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's oh, thrown in a great stunt. That straight woman, on top of the mother. She copped it. He's a heavy boy. Well, it would have been a, a stunt person in the, in the mask. <laughs> Surely. Surely. Lots of stunts. Like jumping the, the canary, scale. putting ice all through the brand new canary. Uh, no snow chains on that wheel. No. They're out. He's going to be slipping and sliding down that <laughs> hill, mate. Ricky. Yeah, look at his cock, man. Ugh. So disgusting. Uh, I'm never going to find love. Just an idiot. Oh, oh, wow. Wait a minute. He's getting a, a redemption up. for Ricky. Ricky's getting some tonight. Who is it? Ah, see, it's a mountain two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With oh, glasses. A street, a street Make one. Make it look all dorky. Yeah, he yeah. can do it. See you, mother. Ricky. 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 So Ricky's scored. He's there done right. When's the um, two dollars kid come uh, back? You'll see. You'll see. Okay. So they're off uh, driving off into the city sunset, and they're at Dodger Stadium. Oh right, yeah, they do go to Dodger Stadium. I don't there. know how, and he's got his saxophone <laughs> on the car. So in the middle of the pitch how did this 17 year old boy manage to get his Camaro into on the playing field yeah, of Dodger Stadium and is this a helicopter how'd they get this shot and there there's the two dollar boy coming to collect two dollars just he give him the two dollars yeah give him the two bucks it's a prick <laughs> well that's it roll credits alright we did yeah, it okay we did it I don't know, the after sequence. Okay. Uh, Father's getting his um, garage door redone. Jeez, they really cover all arcs, don't they? Mm. Everything gets tied up. And then the, what do we see here? Uh-oh, Badger. The he's, made, he's made his uh, space rocket. Out of household items. <laughs> he's taken off from the shed. Thus destroying the ship one last time. <laughs> destroying the entire top of the house. That's good special effects right there. Baxter's a little shit. Yeah. You turd. He's so he's off here, to man. the uh off to the moon. And then so Baxter gets his arc. 
and that's it. We did that's it. Roll, oh. roll credits, oh, proper. Right. Okay. Right. Cool. So, well, there you go. There you that's do our go. Christmas movie. <sighs> Watch it every year. <laughs> <laughs> Without this. fail. And uh, uh, so, what do we learn from all this? Um, Never do a watch along ever again. No, that was well, it's fun. Just, it's just a one off at this stage, isn't it? Really? It's a one off, but you can listen to this episode every year around this time and watch the movie again. Would you listen to it again or would you just sit there and watch it? Just watch it, yeah. Without people talking about oh, it. What a ride. The whole time. Well, there you go. Merry Christmas. That's our gift to you, the <laughs> listener. And this one won't be numbered, yeah? Nah, no numbers on this one. It's just it's just chucked in there for good measure. Yeah, you don't have to. It's not in canon, is it? Uh, no, no, it's out of canon. Right. Correct. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks for listening. Uh, if you are still listening at this uh, at this point, yeah, <laughs> um, and also with you. All right. Well, Merry Christmas. We'll be back for a New Year's Eve special, probably. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm Timmy Tucker. Oh, I'm Jess Martin. Yeah. They hot. Yeah. They dust. They climb. They go through two at a time. Jump the turnstile, jump the turnstile. Jump the, the turnstile. Leap over the turnstile. Hop over the turnstile. I had to take you. It was like a ninja. Jump the turnstile. And it's no small thing. People have jumped the turnstile. I definitely jump the turnstile. Jump it. The turnstile. I definitely would do it once, twice. I would do it over again. Whenever I believe I have to do it, when I do it, I get away because and there was no one there, so I figured it'd be just easier to jump the turnstile. I've jumped some fairies in my day. I definitely jumped the turnstile a few times. Jump it. Turnstile instead of just paying a two dollars and twenty five cent. That's the technique. I pull the turnstile back like that. Boom boom. My whole body is not moving. It's my leg. Jump the turnstile. Jump the turnstile. The turnstile. We are the antibacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.